Hey everyone, it's Nikki and welcome to Create Make Decorate. Hey, today I'm going to share with you how you can make a really simple uh, spring topiary bunny. You can find a full list of supplies for this project as well as step-by-step uh, -step instructions over at createmakedecorate.com. But for the most part, what you're going to need is a pot, a mop from the Dollar Tree, and some cardboard. Oh, and most importantly, a green topiary uh, ball. So I began this project by tracing out some bunny ears on some cardboard, and then again, uh, tracing them out onto the Dollar Tree mop. Now this stuff is really messy when you're cutting it with scissors. As you can see, it's almost like cutting into some feathers. So it, it gets everywhere, so make sure that you have a trash can handy. And then you're just gonna go ahead and shape out the uh, ears using a pair of scissors. So I'm repurposing an old pot that I had. I had bought this from the Dollar Tree and went ahead and just painted some white chalk paint over it. Inside is some rocks and floral foam and then I covered up with some floral moss. So I wanted to paint some beautiful flowers on here. So I'm taking a, a sea sponge and just dabbing some moss green paint, this is Waverly chalk paint, around the base of it and we're going to create like a cute little flower garden. So as you can see, I went ahead and painted some stems and some leaves for the base of our flowers. And this is a really cool technique. You want to take some uh, Q-tips. I have about seven of them here, and as you can see, I've paired them to look like a flower. And then I just went ahead and tied them off with a small rubber band. And all you're going to do is just dab your paint in your colors and just kind of dab it on there. And you're going to have this cool little... Uh, these cool little flower petals and what I do as I move along is I'm kind of alternating the colors with pinks and yellows and some turquoise and then again layering over that base color of the flower with the different colors and it really just creates a really pretty almost kind of looks like a hydrangea flower and you're just going to work your way all the way around. Okay, so up next I wanted to create the illusion of a sky. So I'm taking some more of my paint and just using that sea sponge again and dabbing it all around the top part. Uh, I do end up adding like different layers of colors. So in a minute, I'm gonna add a little bit of the Waverly Antique Glaze down at the base. Uh, over the green just to create a little bit more of kind of that French country old world vibe. So it's all about layering colors and just creating something really beautiful. I'm going to add some of that glaze into the sky as well and then just kind of dabbing with some of the moss green, layering that on there until I kind of get the look that I want. Now it's really time to just build the topiary bunny. So this piece, of, this little round topiary is actually from a plant that I had before. So you can find these over in your floral uh, sections of your uh, you know, craft stores and things. And just simply uh, set it right on in there. Again, I do have some floral foam already inside that pot, so I just popped it right through there. Next up to create a bunny tail, I'm just gonna make a pom-pom, a really simple pom-pom. And as you can see, I'm winding around my hand and just do it to the size that you want. 
I did make one before, so I'm gonna use that. Here I'm just showing the technique on how to do it. So once you get it uh, wrapped around, you're gonna slip it off your hand and then just tie a piece of yarn through the center there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take and cut off the bottom part there to give that pom-pom look. After that, you'll take another small piece of yarn and tie it around the top, almost looking like a little baby ghost. <laughs> and then uh, you'll just go ahead and trim your pom-pom, you know, a little bit shorter to make it a little bit more fluffy and a little bit more bunny tail-like. Now I'm not gonna use any hot glue to place the ears or the tail. I wanna keep in mind that I'm gonna repurpose this after spring is over. I can use it just as a simple topiary for my everyday decor. So I'm just gonna place the ears in there and place the tail right on in there. Then when I'm ready to transition it, I just simply pull the tail and the ears out with no hassle at all. So, uh, and this is it. I think it turned out so beautiful. I love uh, the way how the way it looks and just how it ties right in with my French country theme. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below if you will be making one too. You can also find a full list of instructions, uh, step by steps, and supplies of this craft over at createmakedecorate.com. I'll post a link in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. See you next time.